going through your mind there? Uh, you, you know what? It, it perhaps is different to what, what you guys were thinking. Um, on the radio with 20 to go, they said, uh, listen, this is the deal. Some people are going to try and make it on fuel. And, uh, you know, you're, you're one, of the, the, one of the guys that can make it to the end, but you, you've got to go and you've got to make sure that you get everything out of the car that you possibly can. So I said to myself at that point, I'm going to move the weight jacker every lap to optimize every single corner, um, adjust the roll bars to, you know, to, to be able to just maximize everything. And um, I didn't have a problem. I was able to catch traffic perfectly without having a lift. And uh, that they, they said that there was one person that was that, that potentially could make it, I believe. And uh, so that made me even more hungry. I started pressing the overtake then that the Honda have uh, you know, brought to the series. And uh, on that last lap, I was trying to deal with Bia through turns three and four. And then as I got underneath her exit in the corner, in the corner of my eye, I saw him uh, hit the fence. So uh, I just uh, carried on by. And you know, as, 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 as Brian says, you've got to make it to the bricks with a car that can, can go forward with all four wheels. So at that point, I knew it was mine, and just, just extremely happy. I mean, this is obviously a very, very special race track to me. Uh, I, I love this race track. I love, you know, how the fans energize the speedway, and uh, to think that that I'm a two-time winner. I mean, Brian, who's been a teammate and, and, a, and a good friend for, for a long time, um, gave me a fantastic opportunity to win this race. I think, as everybody. Uh, will agree, him and, him and Steve were very astute to, to collaborate with Sam Schmidt and we can't, can't forget those guys, Alex and uh, Townsend and all the engineering guys and, and mechanics did a phenomenal job. But for everybody that, that Brian put together with Steve has worked phenomenally well and um, they've worked very, very hard, very, very diligently. They've done everything in their power to give me the fastest race car possible. And I was going to drive that thing like I stole it until uh, I saw the checkered flags, whether I'd be in first, second, third, whatever the position. And just, just proud to do that with uh, William Roust on board, Curb Records, Big Machine Records, Foresight Solutions, and iGo. And obviously it was emotional for me uh, because of my close relationship with Honda. To, you know, to, to win, I almost feel like they're uh, you know, as big a part of you know, you know, my program as, as, as anybody, just because they're always very loyal. And, you know, it was emotional for me as well to to, to win for my wife and my family. Um, I think my contract expires at uh, midnight tonight. <laughs> so I, I just I just knew that when I started this race that I, I wanted to do everything in my power to, to deliver a win for you know not just myself and I, I didn't feel that we had anything to prove but for such a great group of people and you know you can think that I'm giving you the media cheesy line but it's it's not like that. The, the, the people that form this this team, and uh, the relationships that we've 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 all kind of bonded very quickly, uh, has has been extremely good. And with the Cinderella story, we took on the might of Roger Penske's organisation and Chip Ganassi, and uh, you know we we've had a very very quick car all month. I don't think I saw a Penske in front of me once in the race. So that's a testament to 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 the team. Um, so uh, now when I. Now when I'm on the beach with my wife and, and two kids, we can we can honestly be proud of what we've achieved together, and certainly my family back home. And you know, to to this is obviously a special race because it is the hundredth anniversary, and I'm just honoured to be the winner of this particular race. But I'm I'm also very honoured as well to represent the Alzheimer's Association, and um, you know, for everybody out there that that knows somebody that's diagnosed with Alzheimer's, which is perhaps a lot more than people think. Um, hopefully this, this made them smile and certainly my thoughts and prayers are to everybody out there that, that has that disease and uh, you know the families associated with that person it's, it's, it's truly an honor to represent them so it's a fantastic day I, I just love Indianapolis I really do I love Indiana it's been so good to me it's been so good to my career but you know to, to these guys for, for giving me an opportunity it's it's tough to tough to beat these big teams and and uh, you know, this, this is a Cinderella story, but by the same token, it shouldn't be taken away from, from how smart these guys are, who they've associated themselves with. Like I say, Sam has got a fantastic organization. We work very well together. And, and, and the leadership of these two, um, and Alan McDonald, Rob Edwards, and Sam Schmidt has, has been uh, a great relationship. So 
just uh, kind of quiet for me a little bit. I'm talking a lot, but just but very, very, very emotional. I'm really glad you finished that answer. This call's getting off. <laughs> Brian, uh, as a former driver, you've been given instructions uh, as well. Uh, like uh, Dan received, looks like he's got something to eat there. <laughs> Told him to uh, get everything he can out of the I told car. You to love me. What were your reactions uh, to the last few laps? Well, you know, there was a, obviously several different <laughs> strategies being played out there. And, uh, <laughs> looks good. And we were, you know, we were on the strategy of. You know, Dario had been going longer than us on the pits all all day long. So, you know, when when we saw him coming in, it kind of made up our mind to stay out because we we knew we couldn't beat him on fuel mileage. So we had to try something different and, and something that you know Dan has done such a great job. And, and one of the things he did for us is is bring an attitude and a belief we could win this race. And you know, on on paper, based on you know our previous effort and. Um, you know, anything on paper, we really had no business believing we could win it. But Dan believed in us so strongly, he made us believe it too. And I really think over the course of this last two weeks, uh, he made the crew guys believe it. He made uh, a lot of people on the outside believe it because so many, so many people were coming up to us the week of the race saying, you know, we think you're going to win. And it was, it was so uplifting. And it's really his, his spirit that came across the whole team and made us believe we had a chance to win this thing. And so when, when these strategies were playing out, I wasn't sure how it was going to work out, but <clears throat> we knew we wanted to give this guy enough fuel to race to the end and, and to just keep it flat. We, we didn't want to save fuel. We wanted to go race those guys. And, and uh, you know, somehow, somehow it all worked out. Steven, it was an interesting tactical race in many ways. And uh, how much pressure was felt in your pit area about that? Well, there was a lot of pressure in the pit area, a lot of... Uh Double-checking and recalculating our fuel figures, and uh, you know, the guys are under a lot of pressure, and they made some great decisions. And uh, you know, Brian's right; uh, we left fuel in the car for us to race hard and not have to save fuel. And, uh, you know, there was a, a, a few minutes there where I thought it might not have been the right decision, but um, uh, thankfully it was. And uh, you know, the guys did a great job; they had great pit stops all day. And for you know, a one-off team to, to pull off the pit stops that we did is a real testament to their dedication and their hard work. So um, um, I'm so proud of the guys. And, uh, you know, Dan's been leading us all month long. And, um, you know, he's a great guy to work with. I've been around a long time. And uh, Dan's one of the you know, best drivers I've seen around here. So uh, if not the best. Um, and I really enjoy <coughs> working with him. And, uh, and uh, it's just been a great month. I can't, I can't say enough about how good it's been. Dan, I would just, oh, sorry. Oh, go ahead. They're not telling you how much pressure I put them on the uh, pre-race meeting. <laughs> They're being nice about that, but I did have to remind them that this is my one and only race, and I expected uh, a very, very good strategy. So, and, you know, they delivered on. They delivered on that. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I just, I would be remiss if I didn't also mention, uh, you know, the, the, the technical partnership we had with Sam Schmidt Motorsports and all their guys, <clears throat> Sam. Alan McDonald, Rob Edwards, Don Oldenburg, all the crew, you know, they, they welcomed us and, you know, something that could have been viewed as a distraction by them, they, they saw that, hey, this is a benefit and we can really work together and they were very, very open with us and everything and Alex Tagliani, Townsend Bell, Dan, you know, they, they worked as, as teammates all month long and I think that made, that, that absolutely made a difference to our program and we really have a big, big thank you to them as well. Good deal with his maybe new contract situation. He can eat again. We're glad about that. <laughs> We've got Susie on the other end. We're going to work both sides of the room. I need everybody to be patient. Okay. Thank you. Uh, do you remember I said that I breathe your wing of the starting breathe? Do you remember that? <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> uh, please give me a special comment for me. And the uh, other hand, uh, this. The Japanese indie race is the last one, final one. And uh, would you join that? Well, I, I think I've touched on my relationship with Honda, and being the uh, the first winner there um, as a Honda driver is uh, that's a, that's obviously a, a very special memory to me. And like like I've touched on, um, I, I joined Andretti Green Racing in in 2002 and developed 
help them develop the the engine for, for the IndyCar series and just you know f fr from that and, and I think you understand that too and and um, you know proud of you for picking me as the winner <laughs> good job that made you look very smart actually Brian said that we should make a lot of people look smart so go ahead and win the race before it um, but it's um, you know that with, with, with that relationship I would certainly hope so but you know everything is as you can see I mean we we've, we've been blessed this month to have the support of of William Rast and, and Curb Records, Big Machine Records, and and, and, I, and I say this, but Forsyth Solutions and Igo, without them, I wouldn't have been racing at all. So um, I, I certainly understand the, the importance of that, and uh, yeah, I would love to be in Motegi, but, but right now I'm, I'm not sure that I am going to be, but it's a fantastic racetrack. That's that's one of the most challenging. Um, you know, this, this is obviously very, very difficult, and uh, the double file restarts were, were pretty interesting. But uh, it, it turned out to be, I think, a phenomenal spectacle, as, as it always is at Indianapolis.